Hi guys, uh, we're back with another video of general understanding and we're going to be talking about bird feet today. Let's get started. Today we will go over the three things, actually four things, but three bulleted uh, list. Bird digits, two most common types of bird feet, and this dactyl and zygodactyl, and the anatomy of bird feet. Let's talk about bird digits. Most birds have four toes or digits and sometimes three. As you guys know, birds are considered digitigrade. This means they walk on toes, not feet. Bird digits can be arranged in a few different ways for different purposes. Digitigrades generally move more quickly and quietly than other animals. Digitigrades walk on their distal and intermediate phalanges. Phalanges are the bone that makes up digits. Let's uh, go to nisodactyl. Nisodactyl. This means three toes are in the front and one is in the back. This this also means that the digit number one, similar to our big toe, also called the ha hallux, faces backwards, and other and the other three digits face forward. Uh, these are mostly found in songbirds and perching birds, also known as passerines. Uh, when a bird land lands on a perch. These flex tendons tighten, causing the toes to lock around the perch. Uh, okay, when I'm talk when I'm talking about the flex flexor tendons, it's basically like um, it it's thin tendons that extend from the leg muscles down the back of the tarsus bone and attach to the toes. That's what I'm talking. That's what that's what flexor tendons are. And it's an involuntary flex. The tendons stay right until the legs straighten. Also, the uh, feet are very flexible, uh, flexible because all four digits are independent. Let's move on to zygodactyl. Zygodactyl. Two toes forward and two toes backward. On zygodactyl feet, digits one and four face backwards while digits two and three face forward. Woodpeckers Owls and most parrots and other birds have these types of feet. It enables a stronger grip on a branch. And uh, parrots, uh, for parrots, this type of foot is excellent for holding food. Parrots often feed by holding their food in one foot and bringing the food up to their beak, just like we use our hands to eat. Um, <clears throat> owls. Sorry, owls. Uh, this helps owl, the owl perch hold its food and grab its prey. Although owls have this toe arrangement, they have the special ability to rotate their fourth digit to the front. So let's talk <coughs> about a uh, bird. Or, or yeah, the anatomy of bird feet. Birds use their feet for many important activities, including swimming, catching prey walking, perching, wading, and climbing. Bird's feet are covered with heavy scaled skin. This scaly skin is helpful because it actually strengthens the foot. Birds can't wear shoes, so they need the scaly skin to help prevent wear and do, tear due to walking and perching. A bird's feet and toes are made mo up mostly of tough tendons and bones. The feet don't actually have many nerves, blood vessels, or muscles. This is this is what enables a, a bird to land on cold metal perches or walk on ice when temperatures drop. The blood vessels and the bird, uh, legs of birds are located right next to each other. Because of this, the warm blood flowing from the bird's body transfers some of its heat to the cool blood returning from its <clears throat> from its heat. This helps a bird stay alive. Because if the warm blood didn't heat the cold, the bird's core temperature could be overwhelmed by uh, cold blood from its feet. <clears throat> uh, this endangers the bird, obviously. Most birds use their beaks for pre preening or like grooming their feathers and stuff. But many also use their feet. Birds develop the habit of using their beaks and feet for preening because their hands have evolved into wings. 
Oh, fun fact, actually. When passerines roost slash settle down to rest, their belly feathers cover their feet to help uh, to keep them warm. If weather is especially cold, many passerines will squat to cover their feet as they eat. Thank you guys for watching.